So we yeah. all decide to meet up, have breakfast. And um, now I was, my back was to Matt, but you were facing him. And you were the one who noticed him. So you were the one who had to keep failing your will saves to, like, stop staring at him. <laughs> I didn't have, any, yeah, I didn't have like, to worry about it. I mean, I think I, I think I said it right away when he came in because I was just, like, str- I, I was, you know, just, are you kidding me? Like, they, like there he is. He just, like, walks mm-hmm. in the room. And the way the room was set up, you know, even though we were kind of, like, across this restaurant from each other, there were no, it was just, like, an aisle between us. So mm-hmm. it was just this clear line of sight you know kind of at an angle from like where i was sitting to where matt was sitting and uh so it was just super bizarre like that you know of all the like if he sat at the other end of the restaurant would have never known he was there but it was just right in that spot uh i happened to be there at saint you know so it was really just a story of right place right time uh yeah and you uh you saw him i looked around you're like matt's over there and i look i'm like oh yeah there's matt and <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I think it's just like, I, I I understand celebrities and been around them enough that I kind of don't want to bother them because I know they usually hate it, to be honest. And I mean, why would yeah. you? Why, why wouldn't you? I, I mean, mean, and that's, and like, yeah, that's why I said it's like, I didn't want to bombard the guy immediately. But, uh, but it's like, I, I had to do something. But, well, but we, you know, we can take this kind of step by step if you want. It was like, <laughs> We were sitting there for a while still, and he did talk to some other people. I don't know that. Oh, I didn't see that. Like I don't. I know that. I knew the face of one of the other people that he was talking to. Um, they've been on Critical Role as a guest, oh, okay. and I think they're on another like popular actual play now. But I don't know their name, and I don't know the name of the other show. Um, but so there was yeah some other like notable person there that I think also it seemed like random because they just seemed like oh like ah uh, you know they didn't seemed to be and they weren't eating together either he was matt was there with maybe like an agent or something (laughs) it seemed like um because it was somebody i didn't recognize and they did seem i don't know i guess i'll mention it again but they were the one who like asked us if uh we wanted a photo and i think that was kind of to be like all right we got to keep a schedule here uh is how i had kind of interpreted it as well (laughs) well we were like we got up to leave and like we right. all were, we were all walking out, but Bob, give him full credit. He's like, "No, I'm going oh, to go well, talk to Bob Matt." <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was like, "All right, I'm going to like I, before we leave the restaurant and go to the con. Like, I want to stop at the bathroom. I literally have to walk right by him on the way over there." Uh, but we were leaving. He was already done with breakfast because that was the thing. I also didn't want to like you know he's like walk up to him while he's like eating or something. You know, I, I have some modicum of courtesy here where i was like all right i'm gonna try to make this as easy as possible for him uh and yeah just had to like go over there say hi and and then yeah lo and behold he was like like you know i, w- I introduced myself as bob and then he almost like like practically cut me off and was like oh, the the world builder and that blew my mind that he had like recognized my channel and it you know i've talked about critical role a number of times and like Daggerheart more recently and Candel Obscura more recently and stuff. So it may be he saw one of those. I don't really know. Uh, he, we didn't talk about like, you know, I didn't ask like, what's your favorite video or anything? Um, <laughs> but uh, but I was curious like how he stumbled upon me before. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, he knew. And then we walked over because we're like, all right, Bob's going right. to bother him. We're going to bother yeah, him I broke too. the ice. Yeah. And then <laughs> well, <laughs> he knew who we were. I mean, he knew he knew where Professor yeah. was. He knew how, how I was. And I was like, um, yeah. And then for you, uh, Professor asked him you know, why he moved from a D20 system. And yeah. they you know, went to D12. But then I said to him, which was funny because we just mentioned the last week's show. It's like, oh, why'd you switch from Pathfinder to 5e? And he, I think he was basically saying because, you know, A, he was more popular, <laughs> and B, I think it was just easier to use. It was sort of, I think he just, he didn't have so like... The answer that everyone has always said that it was yeah. it's easier to, it's easier to run for streaming. Yeah, yeah, for streaming. Um, when you're doing yeah. an actual play. Right. I mean, and especially then, I don't know, like, I feel like today there's more BTT, like, mm-hmm. support for running it. Because even on Critical Role today, I'm pretty sure they just use D&D Beyond on tablets while they're playing. They do. They do. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I feel like back in 2016 for Pathfinder, let alone d and I don't think, I don't know if anything like that existed. 
that they could have even had the support, you know. Well, it would have had to be like referencing did, books is what I'm but thinking. But D and D Beyond, D and D Beyond is a separate company. It's nothing to do with Watsy. They were one of the of first course, advertisers yeah. for Critical Role, and they advertised heavily yeah. on there. So they right place, right time. But I was asking because I was like, I, I saw those videos of you, you know, with like Felicia Day and just hanging out talking about Pathfinder because that was the original game, and yeah. they 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 switched, you know, and. I remember I even said that. I was like, boy, I wonder what's like what the alternate universe is like where you were playing Pathfinder and he laughed and and I wish I recorded that because I don't even remember. And um Hey, I was thinking the same thing about how like <laughs> I wish I was focusing more on the actual conversation. It was still just kind of the shock of like, wow, we're talking to Matt Mercer. And that's mostly what was going through my head. Well, what was still going through my head was we're talking to Matt Mercer and he is so nice. And he's so charismatic and he was so into talking to us and was present and was there and was just as excited to talk to us as we were to talking to him that um, I, I might have a little bit of a man crush now. I was like, damn, this guy is as cool as everyone says How he is. How you not, man? Yeah. He's <laughs> like, professionally charismatic. Yeah. Yeah. He was really cool. I was like, damn it. <laughs> this guy's as cool as everybody. <laughs> everyone says he's cool talent. He was. And he like, he rizzed us over. We were like blown away <laughs> by his charisma and like don't remember anything about the conversation other than it was, it was a nice conversation and we were all very happy afterwards. <laughs> and yeah. then Definitely thinking... an interesting feeling at a convention when you're like a small celebrity and there's other larger celebrities that are there. Like Linda and oh. I were in a green room at a convention in Halifax that brought us in and they had much bigger guests that were also there. So it was like, yeah, we're we're in here. But, you know, there's also like um, Anthony Stewart had Giles from Buffy the Vampire Slayer and LeVar Burton and other people who are just here. And so like wow. your first time of having something like that where where like you're just included in a group that includes a much bigger celebrity that you look up to or that you've seen their things a lot, it's just like a very uh wild experience. So yeah. it says is it I mean and that's the, that's how it felt at the like at the summit and at the on Thursday night as well, because there was, you know, like Jeremy Crawford's there. And I know he's like been a, been a million places now, but until the summit, I had only ever seen him, you know, on the other side of a screen. Mm -hmm. And like Todd Kenrick was there. Um, and, and, uh, well, and actually on Thursday night, then is where I very briefly met, uh, Spencer Stark and Rowan Hall, who are the lead designers for some of Darrington Press's games. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it was, he... and it, you know, I've only ever seen them like on YouTube before. So, yeah, it was really cool. I don't know if he has a 20 for charisma, but he has at least an 18. I'll give him an 18 for <laughs> charisma. Because I've actually, uh, I, I know Jonathan Groff pretty well. He has a 20 for charisma. He he actually even blows away Mad Mercer. Jonathan Groff is like ridiculous. He gives you a big hug and he's like super nice. But um we didn't get the hug everyone asked us if we got the matt mercer hug but we didn't do it oh and in the picture you sort of see a we got our arms a around slight him. thing with an arm around I had my arm around dungeon master yeah yeah, yeah. professor got, dungeon uh, master basically got a hug yeah he got the hug yeah. but i did i was around and touching him i was touching him i never well, watched what his a weird thing again. to say <laughs> never watched it. i am like second degree embarrassed by your statements oh <laughs> hey look there's not a lot of nerd celebrities out there so i'll take what i can it's get it's true we gotta savor it yeah i gotta <laughs> savor it but because he was so nice and he knew us he was super nice he knew who we were yeah. that was even the crazier yeah. part <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he was like that, calling us well, out. Yeah, I'm I was like, thinking Damn. back to that too. Oh yeah, because uh, another thing, of course, that uh, prof I think Professor brought it up, but again, yeah. loose memory was that like he made a joke about you know using Matt's face on like a bunch of yeah, thumbnails. He did. he did, and he was like, "Yeah, how do you feel about the laser eyes <laughs> like that he's used on?" He did. He uh, he mentioned that how he was using his thumbnail. What did he, what did Matt say to that? Because yeah, a I lot mean, of he, people just he, used him. Of course, I mean, he pretty much just said like. Again, kind of like the answer that we all know is like, well, you know, people do what they do to get clicks. And, uh, you know, he was he was nice as, as nice as you can be about it, basically. Yeah. Of course, like some people use him in more even more negative context. Uh, yeah. I think Professor DM like will do it, but it's purely like, you know, for the face recognition and like to make it kind of funny. Uh, I don't you know. It's not Whereas like I'm that's sure not like Bob and I would ever use that for our own streams. Of course not. 
Just don't yeah, look so at that. Like I put them on the thumbnail. This stream. Just don't. Don't, don't do look at it. either Just of our thumbnails for both of our thumbnail. streams today. <laughs> we'll use the same picture. Um, so that was that was an interesting way to start off the convention. <laughs> it's like so. Yeah. So Bob hasn't even stepped on the convention floor yet, and already. He's been to a D and D party with every single YouTuber insider, and then hung out with us, which really is the highlight of his convention. <laughs> and Matt Mercer, and that, and then he actually starts. He actually starts on the con. 